NFL Week 1 Game Predictions, presented by Finn Sports Podcast. I am your host, Rodrigo. We're going to get right into it. But before we get into it, let me break some news. On the way to the game, Tyreek Hill was arrested for a traffic infraction. In the video, it shows him in handcuffs. And allegedly, he was put to the floor. Uh, Other Dolphin players had to get in there and help him out. But this is breaking news. He will play. But how does this affect his mindset for the game? That's the things we got to look into, guys, um, as we get into this week one NFL prediction. So this is hot off the press. uh, Breaking news. So let's start off with what already happened so far. So, so far, Kansas City beat Baltimore. That was wrong pick on my part. And then uh, Philly and Green Bay, I didn't make a pick, um, but uh, I don't like Philly. So you guys take it for what it's worth. Now we get into um, the first The first game we're going to cover is Miami-Jacksonville. So Miami, a three-and-a-half point underdog I, at home. I'm concerned with all the injuries. There's a lot of injuries on the Dolphins. We don't have a lot of folks healthy. Our defense is not where it needs to be. Our offense is good. And they will score a lot of points. So, therefore, they will win at home. But now this new thing with Tyreek, how is his mind about this? This is going to be uh, something to, to look at as we get into the game. So, for right now, I'm picking the Dolphins 28-27. They will not cover the three-and-a-half point spread. But the Dolphins will win the first game at home at Hard Rock Stadium. All right? So, next game, we have Atlanta-Pittsburgh. Atlanta at Atlanta. And they are four-point favorites, people. They are four points favorites to the Pittsburgh Steelers, who have not had a losing season and I don't know how it. Pittsburgh will be with Russell Wilson. What is going to happen, I think, is Kirk Cousins is going to cut him up. I think the Atlanta is, is, is a real team that we're going to worry about. Raheem Morris will have a good defense in play. They will beat the Pittsburgh Steelers at home with a score of... 24 to 20 uh to 20 and they will cover that four point spread um next we have arizona at buffalo buffalo six and a half point favorites they should easily win this game i think they will whip arizona 28 to 10 in this blowout in the first game of the year for uh, Josh Allen without uh, Stephon Diggs. It's good. It's going to be a good game to see. And what, how are they doing? Um, next game we have Chicago at Tennessee. Everyone is pumping up Chicago to win this division, and they are four point favorites right now. But um, I don't know if I believe the hype yet. I have to believe it to see it. Uh, Tennessee, Will Levis, and the crew are going to come in there. I think it'll be closer than they say. I'm saying it's going to be 17-14 Chicago. They will not cover the spread, but they will win at home. Cincinnati and New England, again, seven and a half point favorites, uh, one of the largest spreads for for the day. They will outright win, and Joe Burrow will get his first win at home for the season. Uh, I think they're going to blow out New England uh, 35 to 10. They are going to put a whooping on New England. Indianapolis at Houston. Indianapolis at Houston. This is going to be an interesting game. Houston is a three-point favorite on the road. I don't think it's going to be that. I don't think. Basically, they're getting six points because usually the home team gets three points. So I think Houston will play a much stronger game against Houston. I think this is going to be a close game. I do think CJ will pull it out in the fourth quarter with a miracle win here. I think 24 to 21 is going to be the score for Houston over the Indianapolis Colts. Indianapolis just maybe doesn't have enough horsepower, um, but Indianapolis will win by three. Um, New Orleans at Carolina. This is a three and a half point favorite for New Orleans. Carolina with with the new coach, with second year, um, second year quarterback, um, Bryce Young. I think this is going to be a blowout. Carolina still sucks. 
New Orleans is going to win this big, big. They're going to win, um, you know, 24 to 7. It's going to be, I, I don't know if Carolina will be able to get off the, off the, get, get off on that offense. Um, Minnesota at New York. This is a Minnesota one point favorite at New York. Um, I like New York at home, believe it or not, guys. I know they might suck all year long, but I think for this first game, they will they will shock some people and they will win in this one outright. It'll be a bit of a a bit of a snooze fest because I don't think their offenses are very well. But 17-14, New York will win against Minnesota. Last, uh, we got a couple more games here, the afternoon games. You got Los Angeles uh, Chargers against the Las Vegas Raiders. I am going to go with the Chargers with a minus three with John Harbaugh's first game. I think they're going to win, and they're going to win big. Um, they're going to win uh, 20 to 10 against the, the Las Vegas. I still I don't trust Las Vegas and their offense. Um, I don't think their quarterback play is good enough yet. Uh, Seattle, Denver. Seattle, Denver. This will be um, in Seattle at Den uh, Denver, probably one of the worst teams last year. Six and a half point dogs. They are going to, uh, Seattle's going to have six and a half point favorites. I think that Denver will keep it close, but Seattle will definitely win. I'm seeing this game uh, 20 to 14. Um, and they will cover the spread, Denver, but it's it's going to be Seattle winning by six points. Dallas at Cleveland at 325. This one is going to be interesting. Cleveland is a two-and-a-half-point favorite against the Cowboys. Cowboys just paid a bunch of money to CeeDee Lamb. But Dak Prescott doesn't have a contract, and they're on the road. And Dallas is not a good road team. We'll see what happens. I'm picking uh, – Cleveland to win. Uh, roughly, it's going to be a low-scoring game, I think. I think it's going to be maybe 17-14 see uh, Cleveland on this game. 17-14, I think that's going to be CeeDee Lamb not playing the whole preseason. I think we're going to have an impact from that. Okay, Washington at Tampa. Tampa's getting four. I like Washington, and I like Jalen Daniels. I think he might be rookie of the year. I'm looking for uh, Washington to win this game. 21-20 on the road in Tampa, upset of the day. Here you go, Washington. Jaden Daniels, 21-20. Los Angeles at Detroit is the Sunday night game. Detroit red hot from last year. Four and a half point favorites. But I do think that the Rams are going to keep it much closer than the four and a half points. I think it's going to be a close game. I'm going to pick this one 34-31, and the Rams are going to win on the road in Detroit with the upset. Um, another upset pick. Uh, the next game, New York at San Francisco. This is going to be the Monday night. Sam Fran. The defending number two team in the league um, with four and a half point favorites Monday night against the New York Jets. And I am hoping San Fran just puts the whooping on them. 34-20 for San Francisco. And guys, that is the whole roundup of games for this week in the Daily uh, Dolphins Daily Report. Again, if you like this type of content, if you like these predictions, if you want to see more, please hit that like button uh, and tell us who you think is going to win today in the Dolphins versus um, the Jacksonville Jaguars in week one. Uh, is Tyreek Hill going to be able to make a lot of points? Um, I am I am very confident, but uh, I think it's going to be a closer game than people think. I think uh, Tua will have a couple touchdowns. Um, Raheem. A chain will have a touchdown each. I think um, uh, Waddle will have a decent game. I think I'm worried about Tyreek, so I'm only predicting about 80 yards for Tyreek. I'm predicting uh, Waddle with another 90 yards. I think it's going to be a close game, 28-27. I don't know if our defense is yet fully healthy and ready to go. 
Jalen Ramsey is still a question mark for the game. Um, so we have a lot of question marks on defense. We got to get it uh, healthy quick. Uh, but here it is. This is the game that we should be able to win. Um, I'm hopefully I'm wrong and they blow them out. Um, uh, again, if you like this type of content, thank you for everything. Peace.